tonight, controlling the spread. That's what officials in Bayfield County are focused on after cases of COVID-19 were linked to a wedding. Plus, a rise in boating-related deaths has officials asking people to put safety first this holiday weekend. And a local fire captain is being honored for her life-saving work with a Hometown Hero Award. From CBS 3 Duluth, this is the CBS 3 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Kristen Vaki. Tony is out tonight. Thanks for joining us. There are new COVID restrictions in place tonight in Bayfield County after an outbreak linked to a recent wedding. CBS 3's Natalie Grant spoke with health officials today about why they feel action like this is vital to slowing the spread. Bayfield County issued an order on Friday banning gatherings of 100 people or more until December. We knew that at a certain point, an order on mass gatherings would most likely evolve. Something the county has had in the works for some time. But after a weekend where a wedding in Washburn and a wedding in Bayfield have been linked to five new cases of COVID-19, Sarah Wartman, health director of Bayfield County, said it needed to be done. We have an open, ongoing investigation of an outbreak between Red Cliff Tribe, Bayfield County Health Department, and Ashton County Public Health. And with a holiday weekend on the horizon, health officials hope that an order like this will prevent further exposure in the area. At this point in time, we have to take our pri look at our priorities and determine which is more important at this point in time. Right. Large gatherings or having children in the school setting. With health departments already feeling overwhelmed and schools starting soon, it only made the decision easier. I do think it's important that people need to be socially responsible and that this sets the tone for what is an acceptable level of risk at this point in our community. That wedding was at the Harborview Event Center. We spoke with staff there who were surprised by the outbreak. They told us fewer than 50 people were at the wedding. It was all outside and they took strict precautions. Due to the outbreak, the Red Cliff Band has also issued a shelter in place order. Wisconsin health officials are warning people to protect themselves from mosquito bites after the first human in the state died from a dangerous virus. A woman in her 60s living in Chippewa County died of eastern equine encephalitis. It's the second case in a human this year and the first to be fatal. The virus is rare in humans and more commonly found in horses. It's spread by mosquitoes. The Wisconsin Department of Health says the seriousness of EEE cannot be overstated. They're warning everyone to protect themselves against bites as long as mosquitoes are active. The NTSB released its preliminary report into a deadly plane crash near Ely two weeks ago. Twin Cities pilot Dr. Kyle Edland died when his plane crashed into White Iron Lake the night of August 20th. The dentist took off from Ely Airport headed for Grand Marais. According to the report, the National Weather Service had issued a fog and mist advisory that night. The advisory called for instrument flying, something Edland's plane was not equipped for. The report shows Edland did not file a flight plan and had not obtained weather information before takeoff. Witnesses told the NTSB the plane dipped in and out of the clouds three times before crashing into the lake, indicating Edland may have been disoriented. New tonight at 10, the U.S. unemployment rate fell sharply in August to 8.4 percent from 10.2 percent, even as hiring slowed in August as employers added the fewest jobs since the start of the pandemic. The Labor Department said employers added 1.4 million jobs, which is down from July. The U.S. economy has recovered about half the 22 million jobs lost to the pandemic. As campaign 2020 heats up, Kamala Harris and Mike Pence will both be in Wisconsin on Monday. Democratic vice presidential candidate Harris will make her first campaign appearance on Labor Day in Milwaukee. Vice President Mike Pence is headed to western Wisconsin. He'll visit Dairyland Power Cooperative. The dual appearances come after President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden were in Kenosha just two days apart. Wisconsin is one of a few swing states that Trump won by less than one percentage point back in 2016. Dave's here for a quick look at the weather. Dave, I am a little embarrassed to say I threw a coat on today <laughs> because last night it was chilly, this morning it was chilly. 
all around. Yeah, and you come from the chilliest part of our region, at least according to this morning's data. It did get brisk thanks to a clearer sky. We'll take a look right now at the low temperatures that were registered this morning. And the Hibbing Chisholm area was just one notch above freezing at 33. And up the road towards Orr, it was in the 30s as well. And across towards Silver Bay, there too. Otherwise, regions, uh, many other towns had temperatures into the 40s, but a couple of other exceptions include 39 in Moose Lake and 37 for our friends in Solon Springs. I don't think it'll be quite as cool tomorrow, but 40s are definitely possible once again after so long of 50s and 60s. Here's the situation in the upper Midwest. We have high pressure that'll hold on to us for the first half of our Labor Day weekend, meaning tomorrow should be sunny and dry. But showers will creep in by Sunday from that new low pressure system to the west. And of course, it's packing a cold front, so temperatures will take a dive once we get towards Monday. But for Friday night through Sunday, temperatures not too bad for daytime highs. Saturday, sunny and 72, that's warmer than normal. Sunday, 40% rain chance and 71, still warmer than normal. Could go cooler than normal by Monday and by Tuesday, Wednesday, cool enough overnight for flurries. I'll give you the latest theory on that here in just a little bit. Thanks, Dave. The Minnesota DNR wants you to stay safe as you head out onto the water this Labor Day weekend after what's been a deadly summer. So far this year, there have been 13 boating-related deaths in Minnesota. The DNR wants people to have safety in mind this weekend, especially as water temperatures are taking a quick plunge. If you're by yourself on the water, if it's cold water, if you don't have a life jacket on, even if you're a great swimmer, cold water can incapacitate so quickly that you may not be able to put on that life jacket once you're in the water. You may not be able to pull yourself into the boat. Officials add it hasn't helped that there have been more boats than normal on the state's 10,000 plus lakes this summer. Those traveling on the roads this holiday weekend are also being asked to take extra precaution. Minnesota and Wisconsin state transportation officials are advising travelers to plan their routes ahead of time to avoid construction delays. Officials also ask that drivers follow basic safety measures such as wearing seatbelts, eliminating distractions while on the road, and to always be aware of emergency vehicles and work zones. Labor Day weekend is typically one of the busiest travel days of the year. Meanwhile, Minnesota's top leaders are urging residents to stay vigilant in the fight against COVID-19. During a conference call this morning, Governor Tim Walz, Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan, and Health Commissioner Jan Malcolm said they are witnessing a plateau in new coronavirus cases as other states are seeing a steady rise or fall in those numbers. To put that in perspective, the state had a daily average of 482 cases on July 1st, with 3.3% of tests being positive. And now our average sits at over 800 per day, with 5.5% of tests being positive. The governor wants to make sure Minnesotans are putting in the effort to stop the spread so businesses can stay open and students can return to school. We've got work to do. Um, we are very hopeful. We're asking Minnesotans to just stick with this a bit longer. Um, every day we do it, we're closer to a vaccine. Every day we do it, we learn more about COVID-19. Leaders also encouraged residents to get a flu shot and urged people to be responsible over the Labor Day weekend. A captain with the Cloquet Fire Department is being hailed a hometown hero. CBS 3's Emma Quinn explains why the longtime firefighter is being recognized by a life-saving organization. It's an honor that came as a surprise. I did not know this was happening. This year, Cloquet Area Fire Captain Sarah Buse earned the American Red Cross of Northern Minnesota's Hometown Hero Award all for her work on the Home Visit Safety Program. Sarah's leadership in the Home Fire Campaign has really made a difference um, in both being a role model for other departments to follow, uh, but also just um, letting the community know how important fire safety is. In 2010, Bew started the fire safety education programs from the ground up. That program helped save a family from a house fire in 2019. I just wanted to take it one step further and look at the proactive approach of, of where we can, you know, try to prevent these serious injuries and deaths in the community. And that's kind of where the idea came from, and it snowballed. Ten years and several partnerships later, the program has grown immensely. We've had installed more than 1,500 smoke alarms, and we have visited over six, 600 homes in 
the Cloquet, Scanlon, Breveter, Perch Lake, and Fond du Lac communities. Bew says her efforts to teach the community on fire safety haven't burnt out and will only grow from here. And learning is, you know, the most exciting thing is, you know, you, you, you only know what you know and you're only going to learn if you're, you're going to listen and try to try those practices and being a little bit safer. Bew says with Fire Prevention Week coming up in October, they're working on new programs and initiatives for the community while keeping COVID-19 in mind. Well, today is move-in day for students at the College of St. Scholastica. The college welcomed first-year students and their families on campus with a festive welcome party adjusted for COVID-19. drive through check-in was available at the main parking lot. While moving in, roommates had to coordinate with each other to maximize social distancing between families. Welcome festivities will continue throughout the weekend with activities and food. Students we spoke with today say they are excited about the school year despite challenges with COVID-19. Can't have anybody in your room at all, even like people on campus. They can't, you know, be in each other's rooms. Um, you're supposed to have masks on everywhere and doors. And um, if you're like outside and like you can't like practice social distancing outside, you have to have a mask. So they definitely have like a pretty well laid out plan, I'd say. Students will return to class on Tuesday with a hybrid learning model in place. Still to come on live local CBS3, a Duluth man is traveling the Mississippi on his longboard in an effort to end childhood hunger. Record temperatures for this date are a pair of golden oldies, 89 for the high from 1897, 36 below from 1918. No records coming our way for tomorrow, but it will be a little bit warmer than normal. Great way to start the Labor Day weekend, but we could finish cooler, and I'll talk about that coming up after the break. Live, local, CBS 3 News at 10 with Kristen Vockey, Anthony Matt, Kelly Hinson, and weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on Live, local, CBS 3. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS 3 Live at 5 on Live, local, CBS 3. Would you like to lose a pound of fat a day? You have to weigh yourself every morning, and when you just see the pound go off every morning, it just keeps you going. Step on the scale and you see the weight that you lost, and you're like, oh, this is so easy. Why didn't I do this before? Order online or call today for a free consultation. Years fly by. Your retirement date keeps getting closer. Rather than spending another night worrying about your investments, get a second opinion on your investment strategy today. Let us show you how a professionally designed investment strategy that's aligned with your goals can help you sleep well at night. Go to MPPL Financial financial.com to get our investment review checklist then call mppl financial this week for a complimentary second opinion consultation a second opinion could be your best 2020 investment whatever your water worry culligan water can help from value price softeners to the world's best and even salt free no one has more solutions than culligan to customize the best filtration for your home the only water that comes with a van contact culligan the local water experts What are you thinking? Thinking about burger fries and some pie. You know it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Well, then bring the pie first. It's back and better than ever. Perkins Burger Fries and Pie Combo. For a limited time, enjoy any burger, fries, and a slice of pie. And always served safely. Whether you dine in, order online, or get it to go. Order now at PerkinsToGo.com. Lawless criminals terrorize Minneapolis. Joe Biden takes a knee. The weak response from Biden and radicals like Ilhan Omar has led to chaos and violence. And their calls for defunding police would make it worse. President Trump is making it stop, making crucial federal resources available to protect Minnesota's families, communities, not criminals, jobs, not mobs. Strong leadership when America needs it most. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Classic Rock KQ is once again the Northland's number one radio station. The KQ Morning Show, the most listened to radio program in the Northland. The KQ Train Red, the Northland's number one afternoon show. Thank you for making us the Northland's number one radio station. 95 KQDS. I never thought that you could lose weight without working out, but this is one of those programs that you don't have to work out. In the first 40 days, I lost 28 pounds. If you've got that, don't worry about that. Healthy Systems USA. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS. 
Now, the CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, earlier we showed you this morning's low temperatures, which in places like the central Mesabi Range got pretty brisk. Today's high temperatures, they rebounded, yes, but uh, they undercut normal by a few degrees for most towns. The normal is 70. Hey, we hit that in Ashland, and it went to 71 in some neighborhoods in Superior, but otherwise a lot of the rest of the region really only went from 65 to 69. Come tomorrow... I think we'll crack 70 by a couple of degrees, go about 70 to 74 degrees around the region. So a fitting start to Labor Day weekend. But again, keep in mind, once we get to Monday, temperatures are going to go down. They'll drop towards 60 for Labor Day itself. Then Tuesday and Wednesday, highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s. Those lows could induce a couple of snow showers. Will they stick? We'll talk about that in just a bit. But right now we've got the current conditions from the airport. It's 53 degrees. Westerly winds going 8 miles per hour, and our air pressure for now is high at 1,019 millibars, which will bring us a sunnier sky for the first half of the weekend. Current temperatures run from 47 in Watersmeet to 53 for folks in Ironwood, uh, eyeing up the numbers here for our friends in the UP. Getting into northwestern Wisconsin, the range is 50 to 53, cooler towards Solid Springs, warmer towards Superior, actually at 55 degrees. In the middle would be Ashland and Hayward then in the low 50s there. 50 straight up for Moose Lake and for Barnum and Willow River and for Silver Bay, mid-40s in Ely, mid-40s as well for the central Mesabi. But towards Grand Rapids, 53 degrees, 52 International Falls. I think most towns tonight will fall into the 40s, though in Barris Valley especially, it could take another trip into the 30s. But with warmer air trying to come in for the first part of the weekend, we may not have to worry about the 30s again till say, Tuesday morning. Doppler map right now shows that the rain showers that tried to pop up from the heat of the day are dissipating now that the sun has set and the higher pressure is pushing down the cloud cover and that should clear up our sky which will stay clear tomorrow and set us up for sunshine. Dry conditions as well for Saturday but the high pressure cell will fade away by Sunday and this low will approach from the west and on Sunday it gives us a 40 percent chance for rain and on Monday Labor Day itself a 30 percent chance for rain and then that cold front you see slated to slide through Oh, by Monday, it'll knock us down to 60, and by Tuesday, even cooler. So that's why I think come oh, Wednesday morning or so, cool enough overnight for a couple of snow showers, but no, I don't think anything's going to stick. Snow showers north of Duluth, too, so it'll be really from the ranges up towards the Canadian border. It won't be a region-wide blizzard, no, that's for sure. Low temp tonight in Minnesota goes from 40 inland to 49 by the lake with a clear sky in between for everybody else. And it'll be clear in Wisconsin and Michigan, too, with lows there running a range of 43 to 47. Nice day for Wisconsin and the UP tomorrow. Clear to partly cloudy sky. Highs running 71 to 74. In Minnesota, inland should go from about 69 to 74 with 60s by the lake. Partly cloudy sky from the high, which goes away by Sunday. As a low takes over, clouds us up, brings us a 40% chance for isolated thunderstorms. High still around 71 which goes away by Monday. There's 60 with the showers. And then by Tuesday, 54. And the overnight lows go then into the 30s, like we mentioned, and those will be the two days, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, when folks in your neck of the woods could see some decorative conversational snow showers. <laughs> conversational because you can talk about them. You can't get out and have any fun with them. That's though. true. That's true. I think I will be just focusing on tomorrow's temperatures and mm -hmm. enjoying that little bit of summer. Yeah, yeah, one last day to hop in the lake. You know it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. A Duluth man embarked on a big journey today to raise awareness for a good cause. CBS 3's Kendall Jarbo shows how he plans to meet his goal. 2,500 miles. That's how far Daniel Plies will longboard from the top of the Mississippi River to the very bottom. Plies, a 27-year-old, is raising funds to end childhood hunger in the Twin Ports. His journey started this morning near Bemidji, and he's longboarding all the way to the Gulf. Plies expects the trip to take around 60 days, but this dream is years in the making. Eight years ago, his father passed away from brain cancer. To keep his legacy alive, his family started Project Joy, an organization that addresses the childhood hunger crisis in the Twin Ports, something Ply says is a bigger problem in our area than it seems. Being a kid um, is, you know, you, you kind of need the, the building blocks of, of life, and one of those is food. So uh, this is kind of my way of, like, trying to, to give back to 
to my community, I guess. Plies has never longboarded this far before. He has the goal of raising at least $5,000 during the trip. All of the proceeds will go to Project Joy. If you want to follow Plies journey or donate to his cause, you can find the link on our website, cbs3duluth.com. Awesome. Thanks, Kendall. Still to come on live, local CBS3 air travel is down about 70% compared to last year. A new technology hopes to change that. CBS3 live cams are brought to you by Kohler Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. You're not just getting a car, you're getting Kohler. It's Slumberland's huge Labor Day sale. Get this stylish, comfy sectional for just $9.98 and get the storage ottoman free or an incredible price on the Sealy Posturepedic Queen mattress and free shipping with no minimum. The Labor Day sale at Slumberland. Get rid of hardness and chlorine taste from your home's water with a new Water Boss water softener from Menards. Right now, all Water Boss softeners are 11% off. Barracuda sump pumps help keep your home and belongings dry and protected from water damage. All Barracuda sump pumps and accessories are 11% off. Stop waiting and start saving with 11% off everything. Now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Here is a peek at the West Duluth Super One Liquor location, a new and improved store right in your neighborhood. Super One Liquor has you covered for all of your party and gathering needs. We have a commitment to deliver outstanding service, variety, and top quality wine and spirits. And don't forget the best variety of ice cold beer and beverages. Super One Liquor, come for the service, leave with the savings. I have been working to lower prescription drug prices since my first day in the Senate. And when Congress passed into law my bill to lower the price of insulin by making generics more available, progress finally. Now I'm working on a plan to manufacture drugs in America and build a supply chain so we're not relying on other countries for the medicine we need. I'm Tina Smith and I approve this message because I'll work with anyone and do whatever it takes to get the job done. Hi, I'm Steve Little with Bath Planet, your simple and affordable choice for bathtubs, showers, surrounds, and safety tubs. Right now, we are offering zero down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2022, or get your dream bathroom for as little as $69 a month. This offer ends September 30th, so call us today or go online to book your appointment to take advantage of this amazing offer. Bath Planet out of this world service and down to earth price. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30 followed by CBS3 Live at 5 on live local CBS3. Incredible savings on mattresses during the big Sealy sale now at Slumberland. Get a Sealy Queen mattress as low as $99 or a luxurious Sealy Posturepedic for $9.99 plus free shipping. The big Sealy sale at Slumberland. Up to 60% off on summer clothing and footwear from the North Face in Columbia at Northwest Outlet. Classic Rock KQ is once again the Northland's number one radio station. The KQ Morning Show, the most listened to radio program in the Northland. The KQ Trainwreck, the Northland's number one afternoon show. Thank you for making us the Northland's number one radio station. 95 KQDS. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS3. Heading into the Labor Day weekend, air travel is down about 70% compared to last year. While the pandemic has kept many travelers from flying, those passengers taking to the skies are seeing new touchless technology rolling out across the country. 79% of business flyers and nearly three quarters of leisure travelers say it's important airlines and airports maximize the use of touchless, contactless technology. The first in the nation kiosks are now running at O'Hare and New York's LaGuardia Airport. They validate your ID and use biometrics to compare that picture with one taken on the spot at O'Hare. The optional system could eliminate 600 daily interactions between flyers and employees. Coming up in sports, Bucks looking to make a dent in their playoff series against Miami. Kelly Hinseth is in next. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS. When a crisis strikes, cash is the best form of relief. It can easily be transformed into health services, water, food, or clothes. 
Cash can travel everywhere and aid people all around the world. Donate. Smart. Fast. Donate cash. Dude! Huh? You gonna pick that up? Because there's no poop fairy to do that for you. See? Take these. They're not just poop bags. They're pride bags. Because you're doing the right thing for your neighbors and for the health of the whole watershed. Gotta fly. There's a chihuahua cranking one out in Leicester right now. There is no poop fairy. Fire threatens everything in its path. When it threatens our communities, we respond. We bring the fight to the front line. The Army National Guard stands ready because sometimes the front lines are in our own backyard. We will always be there when our community needs us the most. Find out more about serving your community part-time by visiting nationalguard.com. Mariah Haberman here from Discover Wisconsin. Join me and the rest of the crew every week on this station for all things Wisconsin. Continue the adventure on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and discoverwisconsin.com. Plus, subscribe to The Cabin Podcast, available wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Vaping has been declared a national epidemic among youth. One in three high schoolers vape in northeastern Minnesota. My child started having seizures from vaping. There's still so many unknown chemicals. One vape cartridge has as much nicotine as at least two packs of cigarettes. My child was hospitalized with severe lung injuries. They said it was no big deal. My child said it was no risk. That it was under control. That's what my child said. But what could I have said? Get the facts and talk to your child today. Mining. It's a part of Minnesota's history that affects everyone in the Northland still to this day. Watch Eye on Mining with Kristen Vaki every Tuesday at 10. Brought to you by Iron Mining Association, Range Regional Airport, and Miners National Bank of Evelyn. Only on live local CBS3. Milwaukee was certainly close in their first two games against the Miami Heat in the playoffs, but momentary lapses, big runs, have certainly fueled the Heat to a 2 nothing series lead over the top-seeded Milwaukee Bucks. So the importance of Game 3 speaks for itself, feeling like a must-win for Milwaukee. Strong start out of the gate for a guy who has played well in this series, Brooke Lopez, finished with 22 points on the evening. Late to the third, the Bucks were up by 12. Giannis with a nice dime to Dante DiVincenzo, but the Heat took over late in the fourth. Jimmy Butler, that guy, outscoring Milwaukee by himself in the final frame. Coach Bud opting to rest Giannis with seven minutes to go, and it did not bode well. They were outscored 40 to 13 in the fourth. They dropped game three, and after the game, Coach Budenholzer was asked about the usage of his different lineups. You know, obviously it's it's 48 minutes and you got to be good for the last 12, you know, so if anything, you know, I think keeping us, you know, fresh and, and ready to go and compete and um, all those things. So, you know, it's a high level. If you're, if you're going as hard as these guys are in a playoff game, um, you know, 35, 36, um, I think that's pushing the ceiling. You know, in the Miami team, they're a great team. You know they're going to play hard. Uh, they play hard for 48 minutes. Uh, for you to be able to beat them, you got to match that. You know, you cannot play hard for 36 minutes. You gotta, cannot play hard for 24 minutes. You got to play hard for 48 minutes to uh, beat a team like that. No team in NBA history has ever come back from a 3 nothing deficit. As of late, the Detroit Tigers have been known as the team responsible for half of the Minnesota Twins slump. Last week, the Tigers managed to pull off the 3 nothing sweep against the then-struggling Twins. Game two between the Tigers and the Twins in their doubleheader today. Twins took game one earlier in the 2 nothing shutout. Detroit takes the lead for the first time on the day. Miguel Cabrera singles to right that brought in Jonathan Scope from third base. Cabrera goes all the way down to first. 
That's a Ryan Cabrera joke. Kristen and I talked about it earlier. It's not as funny. Top of the eighth. This goes into extras. Marwin Gonzalez singles through the center of the infield. Center fielder Derek Hill misplays the ground ball. Designated William Zasta Dio. The turtle chugs around third. It's a walk-off win in the eighth. It figuratively, Twins win 3-2 to two, the final. Brewers play in the Tigers last night, start their series with the Indians tonight. But to go to the top of the seventh, Keston Hira helps the Brewers with some late-inning heroics. Hammers a ball to deep right field that is off the glove of Tyler Naquin for the double that drives in a run. Milwaukee has the 2-1 lead. Bad luck for the Indians continues, but it's good luck for the Brewers. Later in the seventh inning, same frame, Christian Yelich grounds a ball to first base. The error gives the Brew Crew the two more runs they need, boosting them to 4-1. to one. They go on to few, get a few more, winning handily 7-1 to one, the final. And the Minnesota Lynx facing Dallas from the bubble. Lynx up by four in the third. Odyssey Sims with the nice spin and scoop move. Two of Sims' 16 points on the day to the fourth. Still hanging with that steady lead. Damaris Dantes doing some work from behind the arc. Drills the three of her Team high, 18. Now up by 10. Five left to go. Rachel Van Ham throws one up. Goes down in the process, but it's still good. 11 points for the Gopher. Lynx win 88-75 to the final. And on the local soccer pitch, Duluth East and Duluth Denfeld coming into today's matchup. Unbeaten. Pretty quiet in the first half. Things would pick up in the second. Evan Tomchak nearly puts East on the board, but he's denied by Dimitri Regas. Then later, Hunters with an opportunity. Geegan Chasty off the free kick, but it's Eli Kramer who jumps on the ball. We're still scoreless. Finally, with just 27 minutes to go, Greyhounds strike off the corner kick. Kai Hoffman heads it in for the goal. Hoffman's goal is the difference maker as the Greyhounds hold on for the 1 0 win. Nice sports block tonight, except for the Ryan Cabrera joke that I just didn't commit to. <laughs> Thank you, Kristen. It'll just be between you and I. <laughs> That's going to do it for sports tonight. Shouts to Olivia, who is in Duluth visiting me right now, my best friend. We'll be right out, back after the break. CBS 3 Closed Captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health. Have our certified nurse midwives provide personal one-on-one -on -one support and guidance for your next pregnancy. Visit EssentiaHealth.org to learn more. Would you like to lose a pound of fat a day? You know, everyone just treats me a little bit differently, a little bit better. You know, I feel more comfortable in social situations. Before, when I walked by a mirror, I would duck. I wouldn't look. Now it's like, who's that girl? Order online or call today for a free consultation. The power of technology is incredible, but it's nothing compared to the power of people. To all our Mediacom employees, we'd like to say thank you. Whether you're working from home, working extra hours, working on the front lines, or keeping things working behind the scenes, you've gone above and beyond to take care of our customers and keep our communities connected. Our network is powerful because you are powerful people. Vaping has been declared a national epidemic among youth. One in three high schoolers vape in northeastern Minnesota. My child started having seizures from vaping. There's still so many unknown chemicals. One vape cartridge has as much nicotine as at least two packs of cigarettes. My child was hospitalized with severe lung injuries. They said it was no big deal. My child said it was no risk. That it was under control. That's what my child said. But what could I have said? Get the facts and talk to your child today. Dude! Huh? You gonna pick that up? Cause there's no poop fairy to do that for you. See? Take these. They're not just poop bags. They're pride bags. Because you're doing the right thing for your neighbors and for the health of the whole watershed. Gotta fly. There's a chihuahua cranking one out in Leicester right now. There is no poop fairy. My part-time service in the Army National Guard makes it possible for me to be more for the community I call home. I'm a better neighbor because my service has taught me to understand how important it is to be a team player. My training helps me at work when I lead by example. My service in the Army National Guard allows me to keep my community and those I care about safe from threats. Learn more about how you, too, can live and serve part-time close to home by visiting NationalGuard.com. I lost a ton of weight, 93 pounds. I feel good. I look good. 75 days on the program. I've lost 53 pounds, 41 and a half inches. You're not hungry. If you've got that, don't worry about that. Healthy Systems USA. 
Men's wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Men. Your fall fashion headquarters with new arrivals daily. Downtown Duluth. Well, that's all we have for you tonight. Enjoy the Labor Day weekend. It's a long weekend yes. for a lot of people, so take it in, have a good time, and be safe.